today's video, I'm going to review Hilton's Playa del Carmen's all-inclusive resort. Was it worth it? Let's find out. This is not a family-friendly resort. It's for adults only. No kids are allowed. This hotel is presently ranked 4.5 stars on Google reviews and on TripAdvisor. On their official website, they claim to be a triple A four diamond resort. Depending on how you book your trip, transportation from the Cancun airport to your hotel can be included. For my trip, it was supposed to be included. But when I got to the Cancun airport and met up with one of the travel agents, they said they couldn't find me on the transportation list. So we decided to spend $50 on a private taxi to get us from the airport to the hotel. It's about a 34 mile drive and it takes about one hour if there's no traffic. I went on this trip to Playa del Carmen in the beginning of December. It is one of the best times of year. The weather is clear and warm, not too hot, and very little humidity. When we finally arrived at the hotel, we were greeted by some friendly staff members and they served us some refreshing drinks. Since it was December, the main lobby was decorated with some beautiful Christmas decoration. They ended up upgrading our room because of my status with the Hilton's Honors Members Program. Our room got upgraded from a Junior Suite Swim Up Double to a Junior Suite Swim Up Oceanfront King. Come on in to the room from Hilton Playa del Carmen. Right when you come in, you have a perfect spot over here to put your suitcase. I noticed one little thing that kind of bothers me. It's a little bit hard to open. You got a fridge full of drinks. If you want some other type of drinks, the concierge will bring the drinks for you. Let's check out the bathroom. You got double vanity, standard soaps and creams. Nothing special. You have a safe, a scale so you can wear yourself, and, uh, little slippers, some bathrobes, an iron, an ironing board. It's not bad. So over here, let me just stretch out. Look at that, I can't stretch my arms the whole way. I'm pushing the door. Telephone, shower head, which is good. I've been to some Hilton's. You could check out the link in the description below where the shower is a lot bigger and the bathroom area is a lot bigger. You got uh, some extra towels. I feel like they could have given a few more towels. Now you come over here, you got a decent sized TV. You got a king size bed. They upgraded us to a junior suite swim up oceanfront king. That's why this room has a single bed over there. Ah, how does it feel? Bed feels good. You got your controls for the temperature in the room, lights, telephone. Here you got a little speaker and here you got this jacuzzi. Now that's a pretty decent sized jacuzzi, I must say. I could probably like swim in here. It's so big. So over here, oh, look at that. It's a bit of a hazard. Here you have a little funky couch which is kind of a weird position when you think about it because I'm on the couch, the bed's there, the TV's there. So I'm not sure if people would really spend much time on this couch. Over here, look at this, they gave some treats. Oh, interesting. It looks like a coconut, but chocolate. And then here, that's a marshmallow. Now I really appreciate the following feature. Check this out. See this little door here? Open it up. You hit the light and someone bring your food or drinks over here. This way you feel safe, especially if you're a lady traveling all by yourself. You don't want to be alone with a stranger. This is absolutely amazing. What a fantastic feature. And now let's go outside. We got two lawn chairs here. You got uh, a little table that you could stick your drinks so you don't spill. This beautiful pool area just walking distance with the pier and you can see the boats and you're close to the bar to get some drinks so all in all the room looks great little disappointed that i didn't have this quality of room with two queen beds so once again check out this pool area i hope you love it the room hammock was very difficult to untangle luckily for me some staff member helped me untangle it and it was very comfortable to use. 
Alrighty, heading to the restaurant. I am feeling not so hungry, but I'm gonna eat for you, my loyal subscribers. When it comes to food, you have several options at this resort. The hotel has several a la carte restaurants. They have buffets, cafes, bars, snack joints, and an entire slew of food for you to enjoy. It is worth noting that some of these restaurants have a dress code. Just go to their website to get all of the details. Breakfast at Spice Global Buffet has a large variety of foods for you to choose from. They serve the typical continental breakfast. You can get an assortment of fruits, yogurts, cereals, breads, pancakes, you name it, they have it. Another cool thing about the breakfast buffet, you can get a protein shake if you want. When you are there, if you want juice, they'll bring it to you. And don't forget, if you love your eggs, you can get a custom made omelet. For lunch, you can eat at the buffet a custom made burger. Yeah, bacon, caramelized onions. Can I have a cheeseburger? Can you put cheese on it? And I really appreciate the fact that they use real cheese and not processed American cheese on my burger. For dinner, they'll grill any type of meat right in front of you. The self-serving ice cream is also pretty cool. Kalamata Mediterranean Restaurant. The starters are a buffet option, but the main dishes are a la carte. I started off my meal with a cocktail and it was okay. The buffet options were all right, like the pizza. For the a la carte options, I had some lamb that was okay since it was not that tender and was lacking a little bit of flavor. The osobuco was all right and the octopus was not bad, but it was not the most tender I've had the creme brulee was very decent and the apple cake was the best dessert in this restaurant. Aroma's Coffee House. You can get yourself some coffee, ice cream, pastries, and sandwiches. You also have access to a computer and a printer if you need to print something. Restaurant Rincon Mexicano. It can get a little confusing because outside of the building, the restaurant is also called Pelicanos. So from what I can understand, it's two restaurants sharing the same seating area. Great breakfast options, but they also have some very good lunch options like their tasty tacos. Ma Petrona Mexicano Restaurant. You can order a nice fall off the bone pork shank, guacamole, shrimp ceviche, fish tacos, fish of the day, skirt steak, octopus. All in all, it was very good. For dessert, the ice cream was just ice cream, but the tres leches cake was not that bad. Chef's Plate International Haute Cuisine. We used our discount ticket to eat at this restaurant. For those of you that are celiac, they have some gluten-free options. The portions are small, but the cool thing is that we asked him for more food and he gave it to us. The sea scallop tostadas was not for me. The bread and butter was so salty it caused me to cough. <coughs> As for the beef tartare and the roasted garlic toast, they were good but small. The sorbet to clean the palate was refreshing. The fish was good and the short rib was very tender. The dessert was cool looking, refreshing and tasty. Pelicanos is by far the best place to have breakfast on the entire resort. Get to eat outside and you're pretty close to the beach. They have a very good cappuccino and they also serve Mexican style breakfast options. Beach Cabana area. Because of the type of bracelet we had, we had access to an exclusive area. Once you're in your cabana, you will be served food that's prepared at Pelicano's restaurant. Personally, this is my favorite spot. Go by the beach and you get to chill out. What better way to relax than being served food and drinks all day? A little bit warm, nice and cold. They had a bar on the beach that was really close to the room, so that was really convenient. Barefoot healthy eating. This place has a lot of healthy options. Once you get your order, just grab and go. I personally tried some pokey, shrimp, and acai bowls. All very nice. At the jerk center, next to the main pool, you could get 
hamburgers, hot dogs, and tacos. If you're gonna be middle class, you might as well be a millionaire. There was some construction happening at the hotel. This was situated at the original room that we were supposed to have, but luckily for us, we got upgraded. This resort has two main sections. You have the section that has two large swimming pools. That's my room over there. All of these are reserved. If you want a cabana next to the pool area, you have to pay for it. You'll notice that they already have some drinks set up around the paid cabanas. These little details I really enjoy. Yeah, you gotta come in, man. It's the perfect temperature. I love the fact that getting towels is super simple. You just go up and grab it. You don't need to give a towel card or a room number where they play music during the day and have a bunch of social activities. Foam parties can get pretty intense. Be careful when walking over the foam, it can get pretty slippery. Talking about slippery, the tiles that are just outside the back part of the room on the way to the pool is a little hazardous. The other section of the hotel has some smaller swimming pools. I see these beds here, but there's no reserve sign. So I wonder if anyone can use it. Sounds like uh, some pool equipment for the water. It's quite noisy. Now this is interesting. Scuba diving school. Pretty cool. I guess that this is where you learn how to scuba dive. And it's cool. The beach was very clean and there was absolutely no seaweed. The water in the ocean was very warm. There's also a beach lookout point slash wedding ceremony section. It's very nice, but very windy. If you decide to go for a swim, be careful. There are some big rocks hidden underneath the water. There are some warning signs, but I only discovered them after the fact. Ooh, I messed up my shins. Idiot. So you gotta watch out for a little rocky patches like this. If you're looking for a quick workout, they have some decent gym equipment in the hotel. They provide some towels at the gym and the gym is open between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. The hotel does have a spa area, but on this trip, I did not use it. If you need to buy some last minute things, you can always purchase it at the gift shop in the hotel. If you're looking for some live entertainment, they have performances every night at the main lobby, 24 Sports Lounge. You can get drinks all night, watch some sports, dance, and party. La Mejor Yar Bar, sample a variety of enticing international drinks as you enjoy infectious beats of live music. The hotel is a five minute walk from Fifth Avenue, pedestrian walking friendly zone, the main street and Playa del Carmen. This pedestrian avenue runs through the city, just a few steps from the coast. You can find restaurants, bars, boutiques, and all kinds of souvenirs. Checkout process was very quick and easy. We took a $50 cab ride to get back to the airport. It took us about an hour and a half. Be mindful, you never know how traffic will be. So here's what I think about this hotel. Great hotel. Really, really enjoyed this. Out of five stars, I would give it four and a half stars. For the same amount of money, I could have stayed at Hilton Cancun, an all-inclusive resort. It's a newer hotel and I find the food is a little bit better. But the cool thing about Hilton Playa del Carmen is that you're in a city. You don't have to stay the whole time at your resort. You could get out and walk around Fifth Avenue, which I find pretty cool. But if you have a young family, you're traveling with kids, I think you're better off staying at Hilton Cancun an all-inclusive resort. If you enjoyed this video about my Hilton Playa del Carmen and all-inclusive review, check out my other Hilton review right over here and subscribe to this channel.